Hi there. Yes, it really is me talking to you. Don't be shy. Come closer. I want to tell you something. I am the latest and greatest in next generation public guidance and advertising. I can say what you want, the way you want it said, and dress just about any way you want. Yeah, that was something that was a little creepy, wasn't it? That was something I saw on the trade show floor at Infocom. Just got back from seven days in Las Vegas where I was an overwhelming amount of uh, information thrust at me at the Infocom trade show. It is easily North America's largest audiovisual industry trade show, if not the world's largest. There's over a thousand exhibitors on the trade show floor, almost a million square feet of exhibition space, and we were seeing uh, previews of some of the latest and greatest that will be out there for events, churches, retail spaces. Pretty much video is going to be a ubiquitous experience if this industry gets its way and generally people seem to be receptive. There's television everywhere. At Infocom they have their own TV station that airs in the hotels before the conference uh, daily show begins. You can get the great food and entertainment in Vegas. I could have caught ZZ Top if I'd been paying attention. But also there's a lot of classes and educational aspects to Infocom. Infocom itself, if you're not familiar with the organization, is a non-profit that is focused on industry support and training, technical certification for installers and designers who need to get uh, electronics into schools, churches and corporate environments, retail sites, event places, stadiums, arenas. We're all seeing more and more of this type of thing all the time, everywhere we go. And what you're seeing in this video is just a lot of footage taken on the trade show floor uh, of the displays and the manufacturers who are setting up exhibits for the some 30,000 attendees that come from all over the world. I did speak to a lot of people from various countries. This is the uh, center news that I will give to lead um, here in the Infocom Camp 2006. Uh, our factory made indoor and outdoor for rental and for the public business screen. If you have business like this, you can, can check with our factory. And all the things like here, this is uh, indoor P3.91 screen. Uh, and this side, we had the P4.81 screen. If you have business like this, welcome to Can Tell Me Us. Thank you. You'll we'll see manufacturers there who are selling lighting, rigging, uh, even pipe and drape. Oh, everything that's needed for events. Uh, there's equipment for schools, of course, and churches, like I said. Um, you'll find teleconferencing equipment, and I'm going to be posting videos of some of these educational sessions uh, for people that want to have a more in-depth knowledge from manufacturers such as Sure Microphone Company on their wireless product line and the bandwidth requirements. Uh, we have some changes in the bandwidth available for wireless microphones coming up and uh, people might be interested in that so stay tuned for those videos there'll be links
there's of course a great many really high-tech displays coming our ways. There's huge televisions and with more pixels than ever. So uh, consumer electronic enthusiasts will be glad to know. But uh, these are for more the professional display market, things you might see out in public if you attend large-scale events, concerts, and the like. Oh, we're just looking at some of the highlights. I saw down on the floor kind of a melange. I saw uh, a lot of different LED television displays. Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more of that in the future. And these prices are coming down, these modular systems for giant video walls. And of course, the latest in lighting for discos, nightclubs, uh, and churches actually is a huge industry for the worship market. A lot of churches are state-of-the-art rock concert facilities these days as well, where they literally have to give the attendees earplugs. So much to see on the Infocom floor that it's overwhelming. There was over a million square feet of exhibition space and there's no way I got to all of it. We had keynotes from noted speakers uh, and saw the latest in touchscreen technology for educational uses, uh, for classrooms, for corporate conference rooms, and uh, picked up lots of new terminology in that educational realm all the latest standards that are coming forward from the international engineering community and the manufacturers who bring us some incredible, incredible gear. Types of pixel depths that can be given, ranges, and it's just uh, very interesting to see all this equipment finally be set up and uh, how to operate it from the manufacturers who offer training sessions in a multi-story facility in Las Vegas. I'll just let the words uh, dissipate here while the pictures do the talking. Enjoy this preview of Infocom 2016. So we were flying out of a small boat with, uh, we actually had this size on, the uh, travel, and we shot amazing, uh, amazing, um, amazing scenes. We actually got almost into the loop with, uh, with the surfers. We could get really close to it. And the cool thing was that I couldn't even see the rig because of the size of the, of the navigation system will have the option take pictures of my little maybe it's really windy so you need extra power maybe you need to fly from a boat to an island and fly around it so you need to make sure that you have enough time to come back and fly back with uh, enough batteries so you can have more batteries on it so again the smallest one that we have is the is the spy we call it export spy for uh, you know gopro size camera or sensor next one will be the travel, which is easier to travel with, and we can still fly with a really nice DSLR for frame camera, 40 minutes. And then we have the cinema that we designed specifically for cinema cameras. Now, the cinema is not designed to fly for a long time, even though you can do that. It's more designed to carry heavier cameras like the Red Epic or the Alexa Mini and for 15 to 20 minutes. Do the shots, come back, lens, switch batteries, and uh, it's super smooth and uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, efficient. So we worked actually on a few different um, feature films. We did Expendable 3. We just uh, shot the new uh, Tom Hanks movie, The Bay Area. And we used that, that actual rig with us. 
we shot Homefront, we shot, uh, we have rigs that all over the world shot uh, TV shows. Um, they did, uh, they did uh, Game of Thrones in Iceland.